Hello everybody, this is Litter CT, aka Phony and Ladari of the Union Fighting Force campaign. And more often than not, this is Mr. Blue Sky, aka Tung Jun Chun, also of the Unifying Force campaign. And today we are doing the Balmora Datacron video for Republic side. Uh, this first Datacron requires you to get an item from this vendor right over here, and we are in Bugtown, and this is how you get to that vendor. I'm just going to ride down these uh, ramps and get to the water down below. And a little note about the water, if you stay in the water for too long, you can reach an exhaustion zone and you'll start drowning, but it's not a whole lot of damage and it's not a huge worry because you will get back to land safely. But I'm going to speed it up and yeah. <laughs> Alright, and once you reach this vendor, you're going to want to speak with her, and she will have an item called a Lost Code Cylinder. I already have it in my inventory right now. It costs 5,000 credits, and when you use it, it will unlock a little box, and then you'll be able to get the Datacron. If you are in a party like Tung and I, uh, one cylinder will unlock the box for everybody to use. And that's that. Alright, and this is the first Datacron for Alderaan. This is in Bugtown, and as you can see, it is in this area here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it, Tongue? This is an AIM plus 4 Datacron, more than anything else. It's actually not as hidden as you think. This is one of those hidden in plain sight Datacrons that they have a habit of doing. And it's actually right over here in this box next to me. There, guys. But yeah, um, if that uh, key that you buy from the vendor on the other ridge is actually needed for this Datacron. The first time I was leveling through Balmora, I thought that this was part of a bonus quest or some random quest that I couldn't access at this particular point. And it turns out to actually be a Datacron that I had no clue how to access at first. But here it is, and it is free for the taking. Well, not free, because you had to buy the key. Yeah. But you get the idea. Yeah, and once you reach this Datacron, you will use your Lost Code Cylinder to pop it open. And it's very simple, once you pop it open, all is well, and there's the Datacron, and that's that. Alright, and this is the next Datacron for Balmora, and this is also in Bugtown, and this is going to be in this area right here. There's an open world map, and it's right here. And why don't you tell us a little bit about it, Tongue? Now this one is an Endurance plus 3 Datacron, and you'll actually think of only getting it if you're doing... Uh, the bonus quest that you first get here, the one that has you wiping out all the colicoids in the area. Because the last portion of this quest takes you down here into this complex, where you face the colicoid queen. And to get to the Datacron in here, you have to actually go down a hidden back passage, the maintenance shaft of this complex. And there's going to be a fair amount of fighting with a couple of elite mobs, so make sure to come prepared. Yeah, and I'm just going to start speeding it up now, so you guys don't have to wait. Alright, and as you can see, here's the Datacron, and it can be sort of difficult to notice because it's green and everything in this room is green, but yeah, that's that. Alright, and this is the next Datacron for Balmora. This is in the Markaran Plains inside the Okara Droid Factory. I just know up the world map so you can see where it is. It is right here, and why don't you tell us a little bit about it, Dung? This Datacron here is a Cunning Plus 4 Datacron, and it involves bad MMO platforming. Because yes. Mario would love to be turning around in his grave. Well, yes. it's not so much plan it's not so much platforming jumping as it is artful falling, because you have to go down this uh, shaft filled with pipes that you have to skillfully jump upon, because the Datacron is sitting very precariously upon one of those pipes. How it got there is beyond me. Yeah, and what you'll want to do is you'll want to take that elevator right there just to show you where it is it is right there and then you'll fall down into this area and hopefully you won't die like tongue almost did oh boss <laughs> and then you will follow this area and i'm just going to speed it up real quick to avoid combat <laughs> And then you will 
reach this spot right here and you're just gonna want to jump right here and fall down to this area and you, you can, can walk on these conveyor belts by the way yes you can and just open up the map so you can see where it is it is right here and you'll come to this little room and if you glance down you can kind of make out well, actually you can easily make out the datacron but what you want to do is you'll want to jump land here and then just make sure you time your, or position your jump just right fall and you'll land right on top of the datacron and that's that all right and this is the next datacron for balmora and this is in the markaren plains and it is in the lower markaren outpost and just to show you where it is on the map it's right here and here it is on the world map and why don't you tell us a little bit about it tongue well we're starting in the lower markaren outpost because we're going a little out of our ways to get it it is a willpower plus four datacron and this one isn't so much platforming as the last datacron was the cunning one is just careful walking because you have to cross a very narrow pipe over a very steep canyon and you will you can fall and you can very much die so just be careful yeah and I'm gonna speed it up just so you guys don't have to wait a long time <laughs> Alright, and here's the Datacron. If you want to get to it easily, you can set on walk mode and just kind of let the hill slide you down. And then once you get all the way to it, and that's that. Alright, and this is the final Datacron for Balmora, and this is in the Sun Dairy Flatlands. And just to open up the world map, it is here, and it is in the lower Sun Dairy Outpost. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about this unique Datacron, Tongue? Well, first of all, it is a Presence plus 4 Datacron, so your companions are going to like this one. And outside of one minor hiccup that you'll find when you get there, this is probably the easiest Datacron to find on Balmora. It's very straightforward, you just have to follow along this ridge, and you'll eventually find it. But you'll see the hiccup when we get there. Yeah, and I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch the entire thing. <laughs> Okay, so here's the uh here's the when I said there was a small hiccup, you yeah. say hi to Sith Lord Badrax, level thirty four champion. Yeah, Back so <laughs> we're both gonna pull out our companions and we're gonna speed up the fight and we're gonna kill him. It'll be fun. So enjoy. <laughs> and there we go and yeah he is now down and let's see what kind of loot he has he's dropping a blue ooh that's good for I can use that for Bodar needing but yeah and you can see the data crown right here and it's just a simple walk up a walk up a hill and then bam that's that <laughs> 